Hi everyone. So now we learned that how we can write our first program in React Native application. That will be a basic and simple program so that we can understand how React Native code will work. In upcoming parts, we will uh, go with the more complex examples and programs. But for now, we will just write simple and clean code. All right. We will cover some other things also, which is very important. Like uh, if your Android Studio, Android Emulator, and React Native application, everything is closed then how you can start your application again, how we can make some changes in the app.js, that is our first file, and uh, how we can write fresh code in app.js after removing all the previous code. All right, and at last we will cover important interview question also. So now let's go with the first point, like how we can start your application again. Here you can see that everything is closed, close, uh, emulator, uh, Android Studio, React Native uh, command line, everything is closed. So firstly, you can just simply put there Android Studio and uh, just you need to open the AVD, Android Virtual Device. And like, let's find uh, these three dots on your uh, Android Studio and just go with the Virtual Device Manager. All right. So this device we created in the last video. If you don't know how we can create this device or you want to create one more device, then you can watch our previous video also. And just click over the play uh, option or you can say that play action and it will start the AVD and that we call Android virtual device so here you can see that uh, it could be take some time if your system configuration is not good and uh, in last video we were facing some issues like uh, uh, UI was not responding so for that you can restart your computer once again that will be settled cache and everything and that will be work fine right Otherwise, I will create a separate video here. You can just uh, troubleshoot uh, that issue. Uh, what measures and what points you can check to uh, fix that uh, UI not responding issue. All right. It will take just some moments. So for that, we can wait for this some seconds. So Android emulator is started and uh, this is our application uh, under uh, awesome program. So now we have to start this also. So just go to the uh, dashboard or wherever you install your application and uh, then on a command line just simply put there one command which is npx react native space run android and hit enter again this command could take some uh, time according to internet speed and system performance so uh, now this is about to just uh, finish the bundling and once a uh, build is successful then it will just uh, start our application here you can see that bundling percentage is also there and uh, within that time we can just open our application with uh, any code editor I will prefer uh, Visual Studio code because this is good for uh, you can say that uh, writing the JavaScript code but if you want to just use any other editor then you can also use that that is also fine right so now let's see here you can see that our application is perfectly running and uh, this is our app.js file I'm just closing it for a moment so that I can show you where this is existing so inside our project here you can see that we have app.tsx uh, maybe you will find tsx file or maybe you will find a uh, .js file but it doesn't matter for basic understanding for basic learning you can just simply write your js code all right so for first change, uh, here you can see that we have uh, that's, that's step one, right? So I'm just changing it with some other text. So let me just find there where this is step one, right? So I'm just putting there uh, code step by step. And let's see, it should be uh, there. This change should be there, right? And uh, if this is not there, then you can just uh, reload your uh, that command line or you can reload your application. After that, the change will be there, right? Because sometime, if uh, as I told you, uh, React Native application uh, is running on the Android emulator. So it's completely depend on your system configuration. Sometime it will not reload your application. So uh, you can reload it manually. But most of time, once its cache is settled down in your system, uh, it will auto reload your application right so if I'm just putting there okay just let me open it uh, parallelly with our editor 
and if I'm just putting there one and saving it, change should be there. And he, here you can see that this application is just uh, reloading itself, right? Okay. So uh, this is how we can just restart your application and how how we can make our first change. But let's say you want to uh, just write your fresh code there, right? Because there is lots of code in first program, uh, approximately uh, 120 lines, right? So let's delete all of these code and write fresh simple code there, right? So for that, what you need to do, just simply import uh, two things from React Native, view and text, right? That's uh, enough to import. Just simply put there, import something from React from react native right uh, one thing is uh, also enough which is text but let's import two things text and view perfect now let's simply create a constant that will be a uh, you can say that arrow function and the name could be anything but i am putting there app.js as app.js is our file name also cool and let's make a arrow function and guys, if you are not aware, like what is arrow function, then you can read some uh, basic about uh, ECMAScript 6 because this is a feature of JavaScript, not React or not React Native. All right. So, and uh, inside this, we have to return something. And whatever we will write inside that return statement, uh, that will be visible on the screen. So, let me show you. I am putting there a view, and inside the view, view is simply like uh, div tag in our web application if you are uh, ever work with the web application we are putting there uh, div tag similarly view tag will work there and text tag um, you can say that it's behave like a uh, span you can say that right and simply put there hello react native and let's save it again okay so this is still code is not visible because we have to export this app.js also right so let's just export uh, default and app.js save it and it will just uh, taking some time time to re-rendering this screen after that this code should be work fine working fine here we can see that hello react native so if this is not visible then you can increase the font size also this is about style font size 30 now what is this style what is this font size we will learn in the upcoming part but basically the thing is how uh, this code is actually behaving this is a part of like css in web de uh, web development right similarly we are using the style there for font size or colors margin with padding and everything all right this is our, our smallest program okay uh, there is a one question for you this is also related uh, to the javascript what is the meaning of export default and or you can say that what is the difference between normal export and a export default right all right so we covered almost everything one question uh, which is that could be asked in the interview like what is the difference between react and react native react is basically used for web development and react native is basically used for mobile application development all right one more question can be asked will react native generate native application or hybrid application the answer is react native always generate the uh, native application because firstly it will uh, render this uh, javascript code to the uh, core programming or you can say that native code and then it will generate the build all right so react native always generate the uh, native application not hybrid application so that's all for this part if you have any question any query you can ask me in the comment box thank you so much for watching this video